was like four or five when I first remember drawing, uh, and I drew all the time. As a young kid, it was like a super, super big passion of mine. I literally would draw all day. I'm a guy who watched Saturday morning cartoons, so I started drawing like a lot of the characters that I saw on TV. So like Bugs Bunny, Foghorn Leghorn, Tasmanian Devil, um, Chicken Hawk, Daffy Duck, and and then the, the when the Muppets came along, it was like amazing kind of like sarcastic and wise ass and like just an amazing group of individuals like Jim Henson is uh, obviously a hero of mine from a creative standpoint and he just opened the door for like I think so many different characters and I, I think I'm still inspired by the Muppets today having kids like looking back. I had two kids, and when I had my first kid, who's true, she's now 12 years old, and when I had her, there was a period when she was in pre-K where she basically wasn't eating her lunch. So I started drawing these little monsters, and they basically said, like, eat your eggs or I'll break your legs, or make sure you eat your food, um, don't be rude. They were just stupid rhymes and stupid things and I'd stick them in her lunch for her to get her to eat her lunch. And then it became a thing where I kind of did that every day and she started eating her lunch. As she started to eat her lunch, I did more and more. And then the teacher would read them out loud in class and the class would love it. She would unzip her lunchbox and like the class was all like, what is, what is the monster gonna be today? The core of what I was doing with my kids was to make people laugh and smile. Like, I wanted them to laugh and smile and want to share the monsters. I wanted them to simply enjoy, like, the time that they sit and open their lunch. I basically got a really great opportunity about two or three years ago from D.C. to go and visit Area 43, which is their Marybelle spot in France. What I was struck by as I entered the Alps was like these living mountains that is this huge mountainscape and basically as those mountains kind of sit, they just reminded me of characters themselves. I think that the core of the, of the characters themselves, whether they be the mountains that I did for DC or the traditional monsters that I do for myself, the, the basic theme that runs through them is that they're kind of these crazy characters that can scream and act in a way that I can't normally act and scream anymore. So they really are like a real uh, extension of who I am and who I truly am, but they can just yell it louder and do it crazier than I can. The basic premise starting very at the core was like, get my kids to love lunch. And now I use them to get other kids to love snowboarding and to get other kids to love skateboarding and to get other kids to love eating cookies. You know, like it's just the nature of like using that basic, uh, they make me smile. You know, that's what people always um, tell me. And that's, it's really, really humbling to hear that and really, really uh, an honor for me to hear that because that was always their intention is simply make people smile, you know, and have fun doing it. Thank you.